opening. Do you remember the time when music was just about cassette tapes and MTV? Or perhaps you're more into the digital era with streaming platforms and YouTube. Either way, pop culture music has shaped our lives in one way or another. Today, we're diving into a fun and challenging trivia game where we'll test your knowledge of pop music across different eras. From the catchy tunes of the 80s to the viral hits of the 2010s. So, are you ready to test your pop music knowledge? Let's see how well you've been keeping up with the music world. Let's kick it off with a blast from the past. How well do you remember the 80s pop music scene? Question 1. Which iconic pop star is known as the Queen of Pop and made waves in the 80s with hits like Like a Virgin and Material Girl? Is it A. Whitney Houston, B. Madonna, C. Cyndi Lauper, or D. Diana Ross? Take a moment to ponder. Think back to the days of neon leg warmers and big shoulder pads. Got your answer? The correct answer is B. Madonna, the queen of pop herself. Moving on to our second question. This one's for all you rock fans out there. So which 80s rock band sang the classic Livin' on a Prayer? Is it A. Guns N' Roses, B. Bon Jovi, C. Aerosmith, or D. ACDC? Time to rack your brains. Picture those air guitar moments and rock on. The right answer is B. Bon Jovi. How did you fare on that one? Halfway through this round with our third question. Every Breath You Take was a massive hit in the 80s. Who performed this song? Is it A, The Police, B, U2, C, The Rolling Stones, or D, Queen? Contemplate for a moment. Remember those heartthrob bands from the 80s? The correct answer is A, The Police. Question four is up next. Sweet Child of Mine is a signature song of the 80s. Which band does it belong to? Is it A, Metallica, B, Nirvana, C, Guns N' Roses, or D, The Eagles? Let's take a 10 second break to think. Picture those wild hairdos and leather jackets. The correct answer is C, Guns N' Roses. How are you holding up so far? Here comes our final question for this round. Which 80s pop diva gave us the hit song I Wanna Dance With Somebody? Is it A, Tina Turner, B, Whitney Houston, C, Madonna, or D, Cyndi Lauper? Consider your answer. Remember those dance floor classics? The right answer is B, Whitney Houston, a true icon of the 80s. That was a trip down memory lane. Now let's move on to the next round. All right, let's travel forward in time to the 90s. Are you ready? First stop on our 90s pop music journey, a song that had us all doing the Macarena. Can you recall who gave us this catchy dance tune? Was it A. Los Del Rio, B. Ricky Martin, C. Enrique Iglesias, or D. Gloria Estefan? Let's have a think. And the answer is A. Los Del Rio. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. Next up, a question about the queen of pop herself. Madonna's 1990 hit Vogue was inspired by what underground dance community? A. The hip hop scene, B. The techno scene, C. The ballroom scene, or D. The rave scene? Take a moment to ponder. And the answer is C. The ballroom scene. If you knew that, then you're truly in vogue. Question three takes us to the grunge scene. Which band released the iconic 90s anthem Smells Like Teen Spirit? Was it A. Nirvana, B. Pearl Jam, C. Soundgarden, or D. Alice in Chains? Let's pause for thought. And the answer is A. Nirvana. If you nailed that one, you're definitely not a teen spirit. Our fourth question is about a pop diva who made a big splash in the 90s. Mariah Carey's debut album in 1990 spawned four number one singles. But can you remember the name of the album? Was it A. Emotions, B. Music Box, C. Daydream, or D. Mariah Carey. Take some time. And the answer is D. Mariah Carey. If you got that right, then you're a true Mariah fan. For our final question of this round, we're asking about a boy band that stole many hearts. Which member of the Backstreet Boys famously sang the line Am I Original in their hit Everybody? Was it A. A. J. McLean, B. Howie DeRoe, C. Brian Luttrell, or D. Nick Carter? Give it some thought. And the answer is D. Nick Carter. If you knew that, then you're definitely larger than life. Well done. Now let's jump into the 2000s. Welcome to the new millennium. Let's see how well you remember the 2000s pop music. Our first question takes us back to the year 2003. A certain hip-hop artist released a song that had everyone shaking it like a Polaroid picture. Who was it? A. J. Z. B. Outkast C. Eminem D. Nelly. Pause for 10 seconds. And the answer is B. Outkast with their unforgettable hit. Hey ya, let's move on to question two. In 2008, a pop icon made us all just dance. Can you recall who it was? A. Katy Perry B. Lady Gaga C. Rihanna D. Beyonce. Pause for 10 seconds. 
The correct answer is B. Lady Gaga. It was her debut single, Just Dance, that catapulted her to fame. Question three is a bit tricky. In 2004, a pop star famously had a wardrobe malfunction during the Super Bowl halftime show. Which pop star was it? A. Britney Spears, B. Janet Jackson, C. Christina Aguilera, D. Madonna. Pause for 10 seconds. The answer is B. Janet Jackson. That incident with Justin Timberlake was one for the books. Question four takes us to a song that defined the year 2005. Who sang the catchy tune, Hollaback Girl? A. Gwen Stefani B. Fergie C. Avril Lavigne D. Kelly Clarkson Pause for 10 seconds. The correct answer is A. Gwen Stefani. That song was Bananas B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And finally, our fifth question. In 2007, a certain band had us all feeling like we were Viva La Vida. Who was it? A. Coldplay B. Maroon 5 C. The Killers D. One Republic Pause for 10 seconds. And the answer is A. Coldplay. Viva La Vida became a global hit and won the Grammy Award for Song of the Year. Great job, now let's catch up with the present. Now let's take a look at the most recent decade. Are you ready for the 2010s pop music? First up, who took a wrecking ball to the charts in 2013? Your options are 1. Miley Cyrus 2. Katy Perry 3. Taylor Swift or 4. Rihanna. Take a moment to think. The answer is Miley Cyrus. Her emotionally charged music video became a viral sensation, making Wrecking Ball an unforgettable hit of the decade. Moving on, which song became the most watched YouTube video in 2012 sparking a global dance craze? Is it 1. Gangnam Style by Psy 2. Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen 3. Rolling in the Deep by Adele or 4. Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO Time's ticking. The answer is Gangnam Style by C. This South Korean hit took the world by storm with its catchy tune and iconic horse riding dance. Our third question is, which artist released the chart-topping album 1989 in 2014 is it 1. Beyonce 2, Taylor Swift 3, Ariana Grande or 4, Selena Gomez, take your time. And the answer is Taylor Swift. Her album 1989 marked a departure from her country roots and solidified her status as a pop powerhouse. Next, which 2010s artist became known for his dancehall-inspired pop hits like One Dance and Controla? Your choices are 1. Bruno Mars, 2. Drake, 3. Justin Bieber, or 4. Ed Sheeran. Have a think. The correct answer is Drake. The Canadian rapper's blend of dancehall and pop made him a defining artist of the 2010s. And finally, which song did Adele say hello to the top of the charts with in 2015? Is it 1. Rolling in the Deep, 2. Someone Like You, 3. Hello or 4. Set Fire to the Rain, Mull It Over, the answer is Hello. Adele's powerful ballad topped charts around the world and became one of the biggest hits of her career. That was the last round. Now let's tally up those scores. Well, you've made it through the decades. Now it's time to tally up your scores. Let's see who's got the most music knowledge up their sleeve, shall we? To start, let's go over how to calculate your scores. Each correct answer from the trivia rounds is worth one point. So if you've answered 20 questions correctly, that's 20 points for you. Easy, right? Make sure to count your answers from all the four rounds, the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and 2010s. Now let's add a little twist to this. If you've managed to answer all questions in a specific round correctly, give yourself a bonus of five points. That's right. This is for all the decade-specific music buffs out there. If you've aced the 90s round, for example, you not only get your points for the correct answers, but also a cool additional five points. But wait, there's more. We're gonna recognize the brave souls who took a shot at the questions they weren't sure about. If you've attempted to answer all questions, regardless of whether they're right or wrong, award yourself an extra two points. After all, it's not just about knowing the answers, it's also about having the guts to take a guess. Once you've calculated your total, it's time to reveal your score. The person with the highest score takes the crown of the pop music trivia champion. But remember, this is not a competition to be taken too seriously. It's a celebration of music, fun, and the joy of shared experiences. In case of a tie, there's a simple solution. The tied participants will have a dance-off to their favorite pop song from the decade they scored highest in. The rest of the group will be the judge. After all, what better way to settle a music trivia tie than with a dance-off? So that's it, folks. Time to find out who's the biggest pop culture music buff among you. 
may the best music lover win. Remember, it's not about who wins or loses, it's about the fun we've had along the way. Thanks for playing and keep rocking to your favorite tunes.